title what time it is it was the j-bay open 2023 it was so amazing to get a chance to go again this year marks well this is the fourth time that we've ever gone for the event and definitely looking forward to many more overall it feels like this event gets bigger and bigger every single year it was insane just the amount of people the crowds the contest site looked amazing every single year it just looks better and better i think though the downside of the event being so big nowadays is i feel like it used to be more intimate and because of how huge the event is now there isn't as much of a chance that like you won't really easily get to run into your favorite athlete and even have a conversation with them like back in the day. That's just not a possibility now. There was so much security and they didn't even let people anywhere near the athletes, which makes sense because to be honest, it probably was going to be a security risk with, again, how huge the crowds are and just how crazy it all was so i think that's a bit of a bummer 
because the events used to feel intimate but besides that it was amazing it was amazing it always is so the contest started on a thursday we went on a saturday because i also had to cover something for work so saturday was actually a lay day the whole weekend was off but it was still fun it was still fun to be in Bay. the town was buzzing so many people it was so festive we still went down to the contest side we bought a bunch of stuff it was just fun to be there and soak it all in and then the contest was on the next week and so we got to go again and we went on a tuesday it was day two of the contest so we got to see some amazing amazing surfing like I, I i didn't even record any of the actual surfing because we were just like seriously we were just watching every minute i didn't even record any of the surfing i'm sorry that i couldn't get any actual surf clips but we were just watching and enjoying like in the moment you don't think to really remember to record when you're actively watching someone especially i can't remember who she was up against in her heat but it was carissa moore against who was it who was, i think it was sarah boom anyway it was just insane watching these people do what they do also this year saw the return of people like john john florence and gabriel medina so to get to see those people in the flesh and competing in the water was was something else so that was super fun and i feel like this year we really immersed ourselves in the jbay open experience like on the contest day we didn't even go back to Nina's where we typically go to to have lunch like we were just like there's no way we're gonna leave in the middle of a full day of heat so we just got something from the food trucks there's like a whole area for food and buying all kinds of stuff on the contest side so we just stayed on the contest side that day so yeah that was really fun we weren't staying in jb this year this year i didn't get to go for the park of music festival but from what i see it was so so good there were new people also on the lineup like Muzi, and yeah just good times so if you've never been for the jbay open i highly recommend that you go or if you live in a country that is part of the world tour then you should definitely check it out so if you live in south africa if you live in france if you live in portugal if you live in yeah just any of the 11 stops you should definitely check it out it's kind of one of those once in the lifetime just unique experiences to get to see that in person or if you live again australia if you live in any of these spots definitely take advantage and just go and experience what a full-blown contest day is like and just the vibe on the beach and the high energy and if you know what surfing before i feel like you would find it pretty interesting i love jb during this time of the year i find it hard to go back there during other weeks and days and times of the year because there's just something about this specific time but yeah i guess now all we can do is wait for the next year of the jb open and with that i'll see you next time I wish I could have been there to experience the days of seeing people like Andy Irons on tour, rest in peace. And I think someone else I would have loved to see compete is Mick Fanning. That would be absolutely amazing. Those are people that I just, it's like my dream to meet. And otherwise people who are currently on tour who we didn't get to run into this time, but that would be really amazing to meet would be any of the Brazilian surfers, Medina or Toledo, or also a huge fan of Ethan Ewing, 
and I think it would be really cool to also meet someone like Tyler Wright. So never met any of these people, but that would be cool. We did get to meet Carissa Moore again, and she is the sweetest. She really is the sweetest, sweetest person ever. Yeah. There's actually like a video the WSL itself got of us meeting Carissa for the first time. So we got to meet her this year for the third time. And it was so funny because this year we decided we were going to print photographs of the surfers we've met before and have those pictures signed. So we gave our picture to Carissa and she's signing this thing and she's like, oh, you know, I guess she like recognized, wait, so I've actually met you before. So she was so sweet. She was like, nice to see you guys again. Nice to meet you again. She is the best. I would also really love to meet Kanoa Igarashi and Baron Mamiya. Speaking it into existence. I also really wanted to meet Julia Muniz. Like, I saw her from a distance, but I was too far. I didn't make it in time to say hi, but that was also interesting to see her in person. While we were on the boardwalk, like on the beach, we were standing right next to Aidan Mason Camp and his girlfriend. But I honestly was too terrified to say anything. So I guess that was another missed opportunity to get to meet someone. That's honestly pretty much all from me for today. If you liked this video, definitely give it a like. If you want to see more stuff from me, then you can subscribe. There are going to be more videos coming for sure.